perfectionism is like a prison and you are serving a life sentence because nothing will ever be good enough. Now, I don't think there is any time in history where perfectionism has been so prevalent. You only have to click online to see everyone living these seemingly perfect lives. They have the perfect family, the perfect job, the perfect lifestyle, the perfect skin, the perfect body, the perfect earlobes, you know, whatever it is. And then, you know, you're just sat there looking at all of this on your phone thinking, everyone seems to have this whole life thing figured out and are effortlessly perfect. But the reality is right, perfectionism does not exist. Why waste opportunity and potential for something that is simply unattainable? Perfectionism is like a prison and you are serving a life sentence because nothing will ever be good enough. So what is the solution for this? How can we combat the curse of perfectionism? Well, I'm glad you asked. First and foremost, realize that perfectionism does not exist. Even the most seemingly perfected, perfectionistic perfection people do not exist. When we see these images online of celebrities who have been papped and they've got like wrinkles or spots and they just look imperfect as we all are. We all sat there so shocked thinking, my gosh, this is what so-and-so actually looks like without makeup on or whilst they're running errands to pick up a pint of milk. It's subconsciously that reassurance that we want that, yeah, these people are simply human too. We are all imperfect. We all have faults and flaws and that's okay. So I think at the end of the day, it just comes down to the fact that we're all human and we're all trying to do our best with the bodies we were born in and the circumstances that we're in and that we're simply just enough as we are. There is nothing to prove, there is no need to be perfect because it simply does not exist. Secondly, focus on giving your best and ignore the rest. For me, one of the best feelings ever that I just cannot get enough of is the buzz that you get when you've given absolutely 100% to something. Say like you were studying for an exam or you were doing a workout and you just gave it 100%. You walk away from that exam or you finish that workout thinking, you know what, I feel amazing because I literally could not have done anymore. That for me is one of the best feelings in the world. Just knowing that I have pushed myself to my absolute potential and I've given something my best shot. And then you almost just don't care what the outcome is because you know that outcome will be what it will be because it is simply a byproduct of you having done your best. So if it is successful, you can just bathe in the glory. But conversely, if it doesn't work out, you can look and think, you know what, I gave this my best shot, it simply isn't meant to be. And this mentality and focus has been one thing that has just really helped me to punch perfectionism <laughs> in the face. And then I have no regrets and I know the outcome will be exactly as it is meant to be. Finally, failure and imperfection are your superpowers. Perfectionism is actually the biggest obstacle and hindrance to you reaching your goals. And by being a perfectionist and scared of failure, you're never going to learn those lessons that are gonna move you forward. So don't ever be afraid of failure. Embrace it, almost crave it, because it will give you more assistance to getting to where you want to be quicker than perfectionism ever would. It is our faults and our flaws that form part of our character and make us who we are. And I don't know if anyone else kind of feels the same with this, but I find nothing more heartwarming than when someone isn't afraid to be vulnerable and show a side of them that isn't necessarily perfect. It's actually like that imperfection makes me love them even more. Our own imperfections, they 
make us who we are. They make us lovable. They make us unique. And that is something to be celebrated, not stamped out or tried to be fixed. Just really think about that. The people that you love around you and that love you, they love you faults and flaws and all. It's not because you are perfect. It is quite the contrary. So yeah, I really hope that you found this video a little bit helpful and comforting if you struggle with perfectionism. It's definitely something that I have had my own little battles with, but can somewhat say I'm at peace with now because time is too precious, life is too short to be chasing something that simply doesn't exist. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Is this something you've struggled with? Is this something that has maybe hindered your life in some way, shape or form? And how have you been able to combat perfectionism? If you like this video and more content like this, please consider subscribing and join our little community. As always, I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video and support this channel. Wishing you a happy and peaceful day wherever you may be, and I will see you again very soon in the next video.